All you gotta do is point it. Oh shit, Governor Wildstar stepping up to the mic. Governor Wildstar 2018 changing the scene. On that mic device live. Santa Ana. What's up everybody? Oh, wait, we in Anaheim. How you doing? Thank you everyone for being here. My name is Nicholas Wildstar, aka Governor Wildstar. I'm running for Governor of California in 2018. Woo! Woo! Yeah! We need to support people like us, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to taking over what's going on in our streets. And that's the thing is, as much as they want to uh, put somebody in charge like a police chief uh, and think that that's going to change what's happening with the, in our neighborhoods, it's not changing anything at all. And that's what's really, the, what this moment should reflect is that we the people are sick and tired of what's happening in our streets. We're sick and tired of our brothers and sisters being killed in cold blood for no apparent reason. And when there is no justice, there is no peace. And that is definitely an injustice by those people that we, the people, employ to bring us peace. They're called peace officers for a reason, yet they are doing nothing to officiate peace amongst us. So what I propose is a revolution. Anybody here for a revolution? Let me hear you make some noise. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. A little louder next time. Revolution. Yeah, yeah, revolution. That's what I'm saying. And it takes a revolution in us. We the people. You see? A revolution of a nation of uh, people, by the people, for the people. And what it really takes right now is for us to educate ourselves in how we can bring about that revolution in a civil manner. Because the thing is, is that the public's perception is that in order to bring about that revolution, it needs to be violent. And that's not true. It's a lie. They want to put that in your minds to think that in order for us to be living freely in this country, it's going to take blood in the streets. And all it takes really is just firing a couple of assholes and removing them from their position of power. Yeah. It's that simple. That's simple. But really, look at how many people are just driving about. How many of them do you think are actually aware of the things that we are aware of? Zero. How many Sheep people up. do you think are actually up. driving here Sheep that are actually promoting the position of power that these that these traitors, these imposters are taking upon us? Zero. And that's the thing is they are imposters. If you look up the Constitution, their position, their role, their oath, they are disobeying their oath, therefore they are not men of honor and they are working outside of the color of law. They are working unlawfully if they are not working under the United States Constitution, which they took an oath to uphold. And that's the thing is if you speak with any of your military veterans, they will tell you that they are very, very ashamed with the, uh, the way the police conduct themselves when it comes to dealing with the public. There is called civil matters for a reason. And none of these people are exhibiting that in any way. So in order to bring about that revolution, I say we just get their asses out of where they are. And it's time to stop paying their bills. <laughs> right. And that's what it takes, is it takes a revolutionary spirit. We gotta remember what made America really great. And that was that was the idea of saying we don't want any rulers, we don't want any kings, 
This is not a monarchy. We are not under the crown of the authority of the Queen of England or any other king or queen, no matter where they are in the world. We are independent people, free to do as we please. And that's the thing is we got to start believing that and acting on that. And that is what's most important. And I would say thank you to all of you as long as you keep doing what you're doing and stay connected with one another, then we will have that revolution. We will have that uprising that's necessary in order to take back our country so our children can live in a free society, a true free society that we want and hope for. Yeah, I ask. love you all. Thank you wait, so wait, much. Wait. Let me ask a question. What's up? Give me the mic. Yeah, let me ask you a question real quick. So, your first year in office, if we vote for you, what do you plan on doing something different from the rest of these shitheads? What are you going to do differently from everybody else? Well, the position of the governor of the state is to be in charge of law enforcement altogether. So, it would be a complete rehaul of law enforcement as it exists. And believe it or not, I would downscale it tremendously. There are cities that are in, uh, um, in existence within this state that have no police force. They have no police force. How is that? Why is that? And why do we not hear that crime is just running rampant in the streets The people are running and killing each other with guns and, you know, um, raping and stabbing each other? Why? Because we are civil-minded people. We exist within the realm of love, and that is exactly how we interact with one another. So, if we reduce the amount of police that are in the streets and put them under mindful authority and make them more responsible and get them out from the protection of the state. I say we privatize the police to where whatever city wants to employ a private company to provide security to them, then that, will, that company will have a police force provided by the people. That's different. Because, see, it's money that runs everything. Right now, these people are on our payroll. The taxpayers pay their paychecks. You see? And they're closed for what? They're closed because we're out here. We're causing a fuss. That's why. Is that legal? If we cut their paychecks, we cut them off of our payroll, we swallow uh, um, all of the money and choke that off, what will happen to them? They go away. And now the companies that do come in that actually have investors that are employing those people that want to come out and protect us, we the people, they are now hired by a company. And if they go out and they shoot somebody and like this and end up killing one of us civilians, then that company is going to have to pay restitution to that family, opposed to we the people. It comes out of our pockets when these people get killed, not their pockets. And we got to switch that. Once it. that happens, you'll have a lot more security around you and you'll feel a lot more safer than you do right now. There are places like that in existence and you can look them up. And they're more free than we are. And we are the majority. Question. I got a question for you, sir. Okay. Now you hear about all these cops killing people and, 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 and the body cameras that, you know, that can prove whether they're guilty or innocent. And us citizens trying to get these body cams, and they say, according to their penal codes and statutes, they don't have to give them up, you know, to prove whether they're innocent or guilty. You know, what? first question, what are you going to do about that when we do a word request? Second question is, their union states that they can be on administrative leave and get paid while the investigation goes on. That's my second question to you. What are you going to do about those two things? That's still one and the same, bro. Cut the paycheck. And that's it. If you're talking about them getting paid vacation when this happens, that'll never be the case when I'm in office. They would never be getting paid for doing things like this. They would be fired instantly. And, and we need to start thinking in that mindset. They are being protected right now by the same people that we employ and go to to say, hey, there's a problem. So how can we comfortably come to these same people and file a complaint against them. They're, they're supposed to police themselves and we, we trust yeah. them to do that when they've already <laughs> proven to us more. that they're untrustworthy. Yeah, so when they, when they part, part um, disobey the there. public trust and it's been depleted, we have no reason for them to be in existence anymore. Yeah, let me ask a question. 
Is it legal for them to lock those doors right there? It says 12 o'clock tonight they're supposed to close. Why are they closed so early? Where they from? I, I don't know if it's legal, but they, again, they make up all the rules. They arbitrate the law, so they probably say it is within their authority. You see what I'm saying? So I we gotta, need to move this microphone to the door, though. I, I wish you could, but this is good enough. They can hear me right where I am, my <laughs> man. Where's Green Man at? Green Man disappeared. Where's Green Man at? But, uh, He's in the car. Hey. I appreciate him for giving me the mic. I don't want to keep yapping, y'all. But I could talk all day. This is a travesty what's going on in our country. And I, I swear I will do everything within my power to, to defeat it where its root is. And we're too busy throwing remedies on the top of it. Little simple anecdotes thinking it is actually going to solve the problem. None of that is happening. And the reason why we're having chaos like this, the reason why you're having unrest amongst the people is because we are not happy we we are not feeling satisfied by what our uh, officials okay whether we employ them by representation or not by voting them into office or they chose themselves they are not doing the job right and i say it's time that we fire them we can fire them people remember they work for us let's stand up and let's fire them Oh, okay, everybody here is in California. It seems like they've been here long enough to remember the recall of Gray Davis. You guys remember the recall of Governor Gray Davis? Okay, they got Arnold Schwarzenegger in office. Yeah, remember when Schwarzenegger was in office? The reason why he got in office, the reason how he got in office was because we, the people of California, rose up against Gray Davis, and we voted him out of office we for corruption. For that, though, but we paid for that. It doesn't matter who, we paid for it, but instead of using our money wisely and voting somebody like me into office, a third party candidate, we started to vote Republican, Democrat, Republican, Democrat, Republican, Democrat. It's just another way to keep us divided, and then it's just another way to keep us brainwashed into thinking that either one of those people the people in those parties will actually do something to help Legendary us. Nally. It's been an honor, brother. You're going to be at the Trump. You're going to be at the Trump rally. Yeah. All right. 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 All want to harm kids, if you're going after those people, I congratulate you. But if you're going to go after some of the people of color and abuse of power because you think that you're better than them, so then So why was we waiting that. for the man in the green mask to come back to the music? Man. Yes! Let's talk a little bit about, you know, this is the first time we've came here probably oh, hundreds of times practice. doing public awareness gatherings here at Anaheim PD. And this is the very first time they've locked their lobby doors on us. <laughs> We've seen this happen in Compton. Um, my husband was falsely arrested in Compton for this music box. Wow. wow. We fought in Compton court for a full year. And a jury came back and found him not guilty wow. of resisting. Uh, if the charges were misdemeanor battery and resisting the Compton cop completely lied but the song that was coming out of out of this speaker at the time was fuck the police Woo. so it was a very very interesting trial to watch wow. Compton jury came back and sided with my husband and officer Perry from the Compton sheriffs is a fucking liar and he will be held accountable. Exactly. But while we were going to trial, we were trying to file complaint forms in their lobby. They locked their lobby doors on us every time we tried. They locked their lobby doors on us with a chain oh, and a um, padlock. It was very, very interesting to Did know. Did you feel like justice was served? Oh, no. It wasn't a pat. It was a chain. One time it was, it was several times they locked their lobby doors on us. One time it was handcuffs. Another time it was a chain and a padlock. But while we were there trying to file our complaint forms, 
they were intimidating us, they were videotaping us, they were doing all of these things. The Compton sheriffs are off the hook as well, if anyone's keeping track of, of, of the police everywhere besides Anaheim. Um, we were there for, um, we were there gathering on December 6th, 2015, for Antoine Hunter, who was murdered by the sheriffs in that area. At that protest, my husband had the music that he often plays to invoke empowerment from the communities that we hold public awareness for. While we were at that protest, there was an officer-involved shooting um, by the alley, across the street in the alley. Our entire protest of about 45 people ran after. We were petrified that those police officers had just shot and killed somebody else. Oh, wow. While we ran through the alley, they set up their police tape. We all went through the alley, including my husband, with fuck the police blaring on the speaker. And at, when he got to the end, Officer Perry decided that he was going to try to remove my husband's mask and he was going to grab the wires on the speaker and, he, and, 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 and pull them out and try and detain my husband. He gave up as my husband walked away but came back 20 minutes later while my husband was alone and arrested him that day for misdemeanor battery and resisting. His bail was $20,000. Oh we spent a whole year going to, tr going to court over this situation. We ended up taking it all the way to the fucking box. It was very, very scary and very trying. It's, it's hard. It's hard to do that. It's yeah. hard, especially when you're a hardworking man and you have a family that you need to support. It's hard to go to court. It's hard to pay your bail. It's hard to have an attorney that will help you. Thank God we had an attorney that helped us. That helped us. It's um, like a hard set. But in the end, in the end, the Compton jury, Com Compton, uh, Compton lost in the end. And there is a civil lawsuit filed now on Compton sheriffs for that unlawful arrest. And like I said before, Anaheim does the same thing. They falsely arrest, they falsely arrested Lou, they falsely arrested Josh, and they falsely arrested a, a young lady named Kara, who are all advocates who are sticking up for the homeless who are being criminalized by the Anaheim police every day. My friend Kara went to trial and was found not guilty of, of resisting and interfering with the homeless liaison team that is a group of Anaheim police officers. A jury in Orange County found Anaheim police at fault. And that is a huge deal. When, that, when there's an unlawful arrest, that, people are, that, that makes it, the, the definition changes. It changes into kidnap. Mm -hmm. It changes into holding somebody against their will. It changes into molestation. And, 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 if, and if this happens to you, you need to fight it. You need to fight it, and you have to you have to act like a pit bull and don't let go. Right. Do not we let go. No matter how hard it is. It. It's really, really hard, and we set precedent in Compton by doing that. There's an attorney, Jaime Gutierrez, who is who is a hero because he has he has offered his services up to any activists out there who are who have um, gotten falsely arrested uh, in the line, in the front lines, on the front lines. So, uh, that's just a little story I wanted to tell you guys about, but I mean, um, there are lawsuits filed right now against Anaheim TV for yeah. un unlawful arrests. Um, and remember, now if you're unlawfully arrested, any time these officers had kidnapped you, any touching that went on, any searching, any handcuffing, that is molestation. Right. We do not have to put up with that. We have a right. Those rights, those are, we have human rights. Human
human rights that that state that we could travel wherever we want without the fear of molestation. Exactly. These cops are getting away with this shit. We need even if it's trickled around trickled around California that people are fighting back, at least there is handfuls of us that are. Woo! Thank you, thank you. Thanks again, Green. You guys know about the 27? What's Ronald? going down? Noel Aguilar, right? That's going to be his uh, second year anniversary, so we're going to have 26, right? Yeah. Thursday, right? Yeah. Okay, and then I think they might be doing something in Long Beach for Feroz Murad on the 27th, but mm -hmm. I'm waiting to hear from them. But definitely, uh, yeah, that's where you're going to want to keep up, right? We're going to have the updates. Okay. Uh, uh, I know for sure for, for Noel, they're going to be meeting at Eddie's Liquor, right? And that's on Butler and Artesia. And I think it's at 5 o'clock. Right. We're all hooked up on Facebook, so, you know, yeah. that's where we're going to The one in Long Beach is going to be really, because there's a lot of families in Long Beach, so they're, we're all going to congregate there, and it will be really important. It's really important for everybody to get tuned up on on the, what's going on and you know what I mean? Like yeah, which families absolutely. are who and who's who and, and we all stay kind of connected through social media. Okay. You know, I know, uh, um, you know, it's, it's Facebook is whatever it is, you know what I mean? But we, CIA. Like, yeah, <laughs> but we have to stay accountable to each other. Right. And so we, we utilize it. Um, to the best of our ability, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. So, and we stay connected through social media. Right. And um, and when we gather, like the Noel Aguilar's, um, always been a huge gathering. So it's just his second year, and it'll be a, a big gathering. All right. So. Well, I'll definitely make sure I can do my best to be there. Okay. For awesome. sure. Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> wrapping it up. Huh? Yeah. Side of the front. <laughs> you ready to go? We're about to wrap it up here. Ready. Learn about due process because it's gone. Like we out. <laughs>